Yo, what's up guys? It's Crab Reviews, back from another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a Pulsar X2 Premium Black Mouse Review. So, recently, I um, picked up this mouse off of Amazon. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can't get it off of Amazon anymore, but if you want, you can get this off of um, Max Gaming. In the US, it does have a $12 um, shipping fee, but hopefully that's not an issue for some people. But anyway, picking up this mouse, I noticed a couple things um, separating it from the Pulsar X2. So, other than it being the mini version, I've got the mini. It's honestly pretty similar to the normal X2 mini. There's not really that many changes to this mouse. The mouse does come in at 54 grams. It's listed at 53 grams. I'm not complaining. This mouse is very nice. The side um, balancing on this thing is a little bit um, to the side, the left side, but isn't so much of an issue. However, the mouse feels kind of dense compared to my um, compared to my Sora, even though my Sora is 47. Um, and it's listed as 47. Anyway, other than that, what comes in the box? Well, in the box, you'll get your, um, your dongle, which I have over here. It's plugged in. You'll get the um, type USB-C cord that comes with it. Side here, you'll get a card. One in three thousand five hundred. Um, you'll get a premium black sticker, and then you'll get your normal, you know, pamphlet. You usually get every single Pulsar X2. Let's put this to the side here. about this mouse is it feels very nice in the hands the coating on this thing is very nice it's just like if you picked up the board Z or the random Frank P edition it has that premium coating to it it feels very nice um, the difference between um, the normal Pulsar X2 mini is that these have mono blue shell pink dots um, I'm pretty sure the blue sh there are transparent blue shells um, Honestly, clicks, they feel very clicky, um, they feel very spammable, very nice, they're very light switches, so you honestly shouldn't have any issues whatsoever. <clears throat> I tested the pulling rate, the pulling rate is very stable on this mouse. There is very little, um, post, there's very little pre-travel and no post-travel in this thing. The skates feel very nice, they're solid PTFE, they're a little bit, um, a little bit um, harder than my Ninjutsu Sora ones, and honestly, I feel a very more. I feel more of a smooth glide with the Pulsar X2, with the Ninjutsu Sora, and that's because they are a little bit um, harder. So you, know, I'll get more of a, um, a faster glide with my Sora. However, it is almost no difference between the glides. The buttons on the sides are very 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 clicky <laughs> oh, I don't know where I was going with that one uh, I don't know where I was going with that one but the buttons feel nice on the sides there's almost no pre-travel and almost no post-travel the front button feels a little bit um, easier to spam than the back one the back one's kind of harder to hit harder to hit and it's not as easy to click Pretty sure the side buttons are still using the um, um, KL 4.0s or 2.0s. I don't remember. They're not using any different switch from your normal Pulsar X2 Mini. Um, other than that, I mean the mouse is just a Pulsar X2 Mini with premium coating and better switches. It 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 really is a solid glide. Um, would I recommend this to everyone? No, because I still prefer 
my Ninjutsu Sora over this mouse. Um, just purely because I use a claw grip. So I have had um, a more enjoyable time playing Valorant with the Ninjutsu Sora. It just feels a lot better in my hands. This mouse is a pure fingertip grip. If you use a fingertip grip, you will have no issues with this thing. This thing is a breeze with a fingertip grip. I love this mouse. Um, the scroll wheel, I forgot to talk about the scroll wheel. Scroll wheel is a very tight scroll wheel. Uh, it's very defined steps, it feels nice. The clicking it in is a little bit um, harder than this one. I would say the scroll wheel is definitely better on this one than my Ninjutsu Sora. I had, I just now recently figured out an issue that my Ninjutsu Sora has a weird noise. And it is not, it is a very loose in my mouth. However, if I try that on this one, you get none of that. It is very well implemented in the mouse compared to the Ninjutsu Sora, which is the only QC issue I've had with this one. Anyway, talking about my overall opinion on this mouse, do I think you should get it? Absolutely. If you if you are looking for a Pulsar X2 Mini or you're looking for a pure fingertip grip, I would definitely want to pick this one up. This is a pure banger in my opinion. I think this mouse is great. It has a premium coating. Your hands will never slip. It has a nice weight of 54 grams. And overall, I think you will enjoy this mouse with a fingertip grip. However, if you are a claw user, I would decide to not go with this one and go with a larger size. Um, purely because the sides are so flat that you won't feel have a locked-in feel. It will just feel kind of... Um, kind of feel narrow and not 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 feel your hand as much this is a narrow mouse however this one feels even worse because it has flat sides and you can't curve in your hands anyway that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed my pulsar x2 premium black mini review and i hope you guys did like the video if you did please um hit the like button and subscribe for more um reviews like this one and anyway, that's going to be it, folks. Um, stay crabby. Peace.